Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the Infel PhD class. It is the first class which is given already, but I am going to include all course in these video lectures. So, dear students, in the Psychology syllabus. The first lecture is about definition, characteristics, structure, occurrence, terrorist organization, evolution of sex. So these in this lecture we will discuss these things. First thing is introduction to ILG. ILG is a later term which was introduced by Linnaeus in 1753. The ILG comprise of a large heterogeneous assemblage of plants which are diverse. Diverse in a sense that their habitat size, organization, physiology, biochemistry, and reproduction are different from one another. Even they are placed in two different domains. Phycology is the single only subject which is present both in the prokaryotes as well as in the eukaryotes. In prokaryotes you study the cyanophyce and in eukaryotes red algae and green algae and all that. It is an important group of telophyta the organisms which are not differentiated into root, stem or leaf, instead they are sprout-like, thallus-like. So these plants are primitive in simplest division of plant kingdom. Now what is phycology? Phycology is the orderly systematic study of algae. Seaweed study. Etymologically, it means the study or discourse of seaweeds. Ilgi are chlorophyll containing primitive plants, both prokaryotic and eukaryotic, with wide range of telai starting from unicellular to multicellular organization. They are autophytic, of course, they manufacture their own food, and telite plant bodies are also found in bryophyta. But the sharp demarcation between of the two groups can be drawn by the following characters. Six organs, female six organ in LG are unicellular. There is no embryo formation. In uh, six kingdom classification, bryophyta and uh, higher plants, for example, Psylopsida, Lycopsida, Bryophyta and Tracheophyta, which are embryophytes, they are included in Kingdom Platy. So, there is no embryo formation in LG, that's why they are not included in the Kingdom Planty, but they are included in the Kingdom Protesta, and that is the bacteria, Kingdom Bacteria. Sometimes you call it Monera in some systems. The domain prokaryota. However, the reproductive structures of some groups of algae, chlorophyzae, are apparently multicellular, and sterile tissue is generally considered as vegetative. Bryophyta 
bryophytes onward in the scale of evolution have the uniform multicellular sex organs. They contain archegonia. There is no archegonium in them, in algae, which are not found in algae. For the reason bryophytes are usually called archegoniates plants. You study bryophytes, Cylopsida, Lycopsida, Teropsida, and ferns and gymnosperms in the archegoniates, while algae is not included into them. Some phycologists define the algae as In 1935, Frisch, Frisch defined algae as the holophytic organisms can obtain nutrition without the ingestion of food. So they are holophytic, they prepare their own food as well as their numerous colorless derivatives that fail to reach the higher level of differentiation characteristics of Archegonia's plants. So, in a simple words, simple autotrophic plants. Smith, GM Smith defined algae as simple plants with an autotrophic mode of nutrition. Again, the same pattern with different words. Chapman defined algae as seaweed of seaweeds of the seashores and green schemes in the stagnant fresh water, ponds and pools is among the simplest in plant kingdom. Again, same concept, different words. Prescott GW Prescott 1969 defined algae as those chlorophyll bearing organisms and their colorless relative which are telloid having no true root, stem, and leaves, or leaf-like organ. Sing R. and Sing, 1974, defined that algae are by and large, are by and large simple plants which display a spectrum of photosynthetic pigments means chlorophyll A, B, C, D, E, F, and carotenoids, and evolve oxygen during the process of photosynthesis. Now, algae, cyanobacteria is related with algae because it do the oxygenic photosynthesis, while the bacteria do the non-oxygenic oxygenic photosynthesis. You know that. Characteristics of algae. Algae are chlorophyll bearing, autotrophic telite plant body. Almost all algae are aquatic. The plant body may be unicellular to large, robust multicellular structure. You know that. The multicellular complex telai lake vascular tissue and also show little differentiation of tissue. The sex organs are generally unicellular, but when multicellular, all cells are fertile. And in most cases, the entire structure does not have any projection jacket. So to be very simple, the sex organs are unicellular. And if multicellular, they are fertile. The zygote undergo further development either by mitosis, meiosis, but not through embryo formation. So there are zygotic meiosis as well. After zygotic meiosis, applied organism will be formed. And if there is no meiosis in zygote, Deployed organisms will be found. So in fungi, you go for zygotic meiosis after each every zygote formation. While in algae, you find all these things.
<clears throat> so the multicellular complex cellai lack vascular tissue and also show little differentiation of tissue the sex organs are generally unicellular but when multicellular all cells are fertile and in most cases the entire structure does not have any projection jacket तो यहाँ तक हम आए थे कि प्लांट्स हैविंग डिस्टिंग अल्टरनेशन ऑफ जनरेशन बोथ गेमिटोफाइट एंड स्पोरोफाइट जनरेशन इन प्रेजेंट इन द लाइफ साइकिल आर इंडिपेंडेंट ना ऑकरेंस ऑफ एल जी द एल जी आर यूनिवर्सल अब विकस प्रेजेंट एवरी वीयर इन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दे आर फाउंड इन फ्रेश वाटर एज वेल एज मेरीन वाटर on soil on rock as it is fired as parasite on plants and animals in hard spring in deserts in permanent snow fields matlab aapko har jagah milega jahan par thoda sa bhi pani available hai but they mainly dwell in aquatic environment based on habitat ilg may be characterized as aquatic terrestrial an ilg of remarkable habitats aquatic terrestrial and ilg of remarkable habitats now aquatic ilg <coughs> that may be fresh water when salinity is as low as 10 ppm or marine when salinity is 33 to 40% again certain ilg grow in brackish water which is unpalatable for drinking but less salty than sea water to aapko teen jagahon par milenge fresh water aquatic mein marine water aur brackish water mein the fresh water algae usually grow in ponds lakes tanks ditches they very common fresh water algae are chlamydomonas valvox yolothrax cara oregonium Pyrogyra, Nostoc, Oscillatoria, etc., etc. Some very common marine algae are Sargassum, Laminaria, Ectocarpus, Polysiphonia, Calarpa, Bangia, Pedina. Freshwater algae may be termed as planktonic when they grow and remain suspended on the upper part of water. For example, valvoxes and diatoms. While the benthic algae are bottom dwellers, the algae that grow at air-water interface are called neustonic. So, the air-water interface में जो रहते हैं इसको neustonic कहते हैं. The benthic algae may be epiphytic. which grow on stones epipelic attached to sand or mud epiphytic growing on plants epizoic growing on animal body surface the marine algae may be supralateral or subaerial supralateral or subaerial as they grow above the water level and in the spray zone in spray zone mein jahan par वाटर इस तरह होता है कि बहुत सी जगहों पर पहाड़ होते हैं तो पहाड़ों के पत्थरों से टकराते हैं तो पानी मुसलसल स्प्रे होता रहता है किसी जगह पर दैट इज सुपरलेटल आर सब एरियल एज दे ग्रो अबाउ दी वाटर लेवल इन स्प्रे जोन इंटरटाइडल एल जी ग्रो इन सच अ डेप्थ सो दैट दे आर एक्सपोज पीरियडिकली ड्यू टू टाइड्स तो इंटरटाइड्स में tides come and go tides come and go other marine algae are sublateral meaning they are constantly submerged at depth as great as 30 to 60 meters 200 to 200 feet from 100 to 200 feet again the supralateral algae may be edaphic they grow and in Uh, and on the soil, epiphytic growing on stone, epiphytic growing on plants, 
epizoic growing on animal body surface corticulus growing on tree barks and parasitic on plants and animals to supra lateral algae ke phir mazid aqsam aapko edaphic epileptic epiphytic epizoic and parasitic corticulus ye aqsam aapko mil sakti hain some ilgi chlorella live endozoically in various protozoa cylindrates or in mole ye mollusks etc the second category is that of the terrestrial ilgi some ilgi are found to grow in terrestrial habitat like soils rocks logs the ilgi that grow on the surface of the soil are known as saprophytes saprophytes algae they grow on the surface of the soil many blue green on the other, other hand grow under the surface of the soil are called cryptophytes so the algae growing in the desert soil may be typified as indidefic in the defic living in soil and epidefic living on the soil surface is the second category and some are known as hypolithic growing on the lower surface of the stone in soil some are known as chasmolithic living in rock fish or chasm chasmolithic and endolithic algae which are are rock penetrating so endolithic algae all that is related with the terrestrial The common terrestrial members are Oscillatoria, Senta, Vocheria, Gymnata, Chlorella, Euglena, Fritzella, Formidium, blah blah blah. <coughs> the third category is that of the remarkable habitat. वो इजी जो के आपको का ख्याल नहीं होता कि इधर भी हो सकती है. That is. when algae is found in uncommon habitat that is remarkable habitat halophytic algae or urihaline urihaline they grow in highly concentrated salts lakes include clematomonas ehrenbergi duna lila and stephanoptera Clematomonas, Dunalila, Stephanoptera. These, that is Dunalila, haplophyte green algae, specially found in sea salt seal, known for antioxidant activity because of ability to create large amount of carotenoids. It is used in cosmetic and dietary. So. few organism can survive like dunulila salina does in such highly condition as salt evaporation ponds so that is you will find it dunulila salina to survive these organisms have concentration of beta carotene to protect against the intense light and high concentration of glycerol to provide protection against osmotic pressure this offers an opportunity for commercial biologist production of these substances so that is another is tifino tera febri species that is tifino tera febri species urihaline organisms are able to adapt to a wide range of salinities which can live in fresh water brackish water or salt water because they can tolerate high salt concentration so they they are salt tolerator not salt lovers archaea are halophytes which are salt lovers they cannot live without the salt but some species are known as salt tolerator they can live 
without salt. But they can tolerate as well. So, stenohaline, the opposite of urihaline organisms, or stenohaline one, which can only survive within a narrow range of salinity, that is salt lover. Most freshwater organisms are stenohaline and will die in seawater. Sorry, that is, uh, there they have a strict limit of salinity and will die in sea wind. Similarly, almost marine organisms are stenohaline and cannot live in fresh water. So they are, this, the, the sea algae, marine algae is stenohaline. Uh, those stenohaline which love salt. Second is of remarkable habitat is symbiotic algae. They grow in association with fungi, bryophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms. The best example of symbiotic algae found in association with the fungi or nostalgia. Gliocapsa, Rivularia, member of Cyanophyceae and Chlorella. Cytococcus, Pleurococcus, the member of Chlorophyceae. You can see over here, that is Rivularia. and cryptococcus. The symbiotic association consisting of algae and fungi is called lichen. Nostoc may also associate with infaceros and anabina, associated with the roots of cycas to form corelloid roots. So these are the Corelloid roots of plants where they live. Cryptophytic algae. This group of algae growing on ice and snow provides attractive color to snow covered mountains. The alpine and arctic mountains become red due to growth of Hematococcus nevalis. Green snow in Europe is due to the growth of Clematogonus. Yellowstone is due to Scotiella nivellus. You can see these species over here. And Refidonema pre virus tree cause black coloration of snow. There is in Cyclonema Norden Scoildi is responsible for brownish purple coloration. The fourth type is thermophytes or thermal algae. This group of algae occur in hot water spring where normal life is not possible. Many blue green algae, Oscillatoria brevis, and Sinecococcus elongatus and Heterochromogonium are grown in such hot springs. Lithophyte is the fifth type. They grow on moist surface of stones and rocks, Nostoc, Eucapsa, and Tiromarfa. Batrachospermum, epiphytic algae, they grow on other plants, including other algae members. These are algae and algae. Tylota plumosa and Rhodominia pseudopameta and Laminaria hyperporean. You can see over here that it is growing on another algae. The entity may represent a different species. Flat and plain shaped, rather stiff rose red front, 100 millimeter high with long or short strips arising from a discoidal base. Front repeatedly dichotomously lobed, exiled, wide surfaces round, margin smooth. So that is, you can see that. One algae is growing on another algae. Diatoms in a Spirogyra. 
LG and uh, they have grown, they have grown on elder region. For example, they have a diet of not only on Oregonium, they also grow on Cladophora, Sororella, etc. LG on bryophytes, blue green LG like now stock, oscillatoria, diatoms like Echinanthus. Grow on different bryophytes. So, LG, LG per bhi grow kar sakti hai, LG in the sperm per bhi grow kar sakti hai. Okay, LG bryophytes per bhi grow kar sakti hai. LG on angiosperms, LG like Coconus, Echinanthus, grow epiphytically on Lemna in aquatic angiosperm. LG like Trentopolia, grow on the barks of different angiosperm plants. You have to see this. This LG grow. Karti hai. Epizoic LG, the LG growing on animals like fish, snail are called as epizoic. Trigeoclonium are found in the gills of fish. Endozoic LG, they grow in tissues of animals, Sue chlorella. You have to see this. Zoo chlorella species jo hai, is found in Hydra viridis. Hydra wo animal jo hai, cylindrata ka, polyot form ka, aap ne pada hoga. So, that is Hydra. Or Hydra ka color green deke, green ho gaya hai. Green kis wajah se hai? Because of zoo chlorella. Kis ke andar hai? Hydra ke andar hai. Parasitic LG. Some LG grow parasitically on different plants and animals. These are, you can see different plants, Cephaliorus chlorophyce is a parasitic and grows on the leaves of various angiosperms such as tea, coffee, rhododendron, magnolia and pepper. The most important one is Cephaliorus virescens, which causes red rust of tea. Rhodochytrium. एक एलजी है ग्रोज़ ऑन रेड वीट लीव्स एम्ब्रोजिया के ऊपर ये आप देख सकते हैं इसी तरह फाइलोसाइफ़ान ग्रोज़ ऑन द लीव्स ऑफ एरिसेरम वल्गेर ये देखें कचालू एरिसेमा तो सिरेटो कॉलेक्स Rhodophyce grows in Phyllophora thalus. So, this is Kachalu ki family. Hai. Kachalu nahi hai. I'm just telling you ki us tarah se. It grows in Phyllophora thalus. Isi tarah salmon. The algae which grow in sandy beach are called salmon. Vocheria formidium. Theek hai? So salmon, Greek salmon, salmon, sand is a group of organisms so inhabiting coastal and moist biota buried in sediment. Jo samandar ka darmiyan nahi, balki samandar ka beach, beach par paaye jate hain. Vaisa darmiyan to ko beach kehte hain, but then isko beach kyun kehte hain. Achha, salmon is a part of water fauna along with periphyton, plankton, nectar, and those. Salmon wo ilji hai jo ke sand mein pahi jati hai. It is sometimes considered as a part of benthos due to its near bottom distribution. Salmon term is commonly used to refer to freshwater reservoirs such as lakes. Next, our pass hai thalus organization in ilji. Telai of ilji show a range of organizations starting from unicellular form to highly organized multicellular habit. Yahaan par kya hooga ke yahaan par aapke basically teen form padhoge unicellular, colonial or multicellular. 
फिर उसमें आप ब्रांच्ड अनब्रांच्ड और مختلف فینومنا دیکھو گے so where the plant body is differentiated into root like stem like and leaf like structure giving a higher plant like appearance their size range from a few micron diatom ko dekh le to several meters or microcystis giganta ko dekh le kelps ko dekh le the ilgal hytelai grouped into following best and their organization unicellular ilgi unicellular algal forms unicellular forms of algae are also called acellular algae as they function as complete living organisms unicellular forms are common in all groups of algae except trophophyce theophyce chlorophyce the unicell may be motile or non motile the motile unicell are either rhizopodial or flagellated the rhizopodial form lack rigid cell wall and have cytoplasmic projection that help them in avoid movement chris amoeba ye rhizopodial hai to yahan par do qisam ke paaye jate hain in jo pseudopodia banate hain ya jisme flagellated hota hai to wo motile hote hain to chris amoeba chrysophyce ka rhizochloris xanthophyce ka is ye flagellated unicell resemble मोटाइल के मीट्स इन टू स्पोर्ट्स उसमें तो फ्लेजिला होते हैं फिर उसमें भी आइसो कौन थे और हेट्रो कौन थे और ठीक है ना यूनिसेल और मल्टी सेलर और बहुत सारे फिनोमेना है फीडर लाइक और द फ्लेजिला फंक्शन इज द ऑर्गन ऑफ लोकोमोशन वेरिंग इन नंबर एंड टाइप्स इन डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स द फ्लेजिलेटेड यूनिसेल आर फाउंड इन मेनी ग्रुप्स ऑफ एल जी ठीक है सो क्लेमेडोमोना से लेकर जाते जाएं यूबलिन और सब चीजों में जाते जाएं तो आपको ये मिलेगा सही ये जो बी है ये फिकोटस है ये वाला नाम तो मैंने नहीं कहा नोट्स में है देख लें द नॉन मोटाइल सेल्स में भी स्पायरल फेलामेंट्स एज फाउंड इन स्पेरोलिना और द कोकाइड यूनिसेलर एल जी आर द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ एल जी फाउंड इन साइनोफाइसी क्लोरेला ग्लियोकैप्सा तो ये जो है जनाब ये आपके पाए जाएंगे तो ये मतलब ये है कि यूनिसेलर है फिर उसके मोटाइल फॉर्म और नॉन मोटाइल फॉर्म फिर मोटाइल फॉर्म में भी राइजोपोडियल फॉर्म है और फिर उसमें फ्लेजिलेटेड फॉर्म है फिर फ्लेजिलेटेड में भी बहुत सारी अकसाम है इसी तरह मल्टीसिलर एल जी जो है कलूनियन है द कलूनियल हैबिटास इज अचीव बाई लूज एग्रीगेशन ऑफ सेल्स विद इन कामन न्यूसिलीजनस इन्वेस्टमेंट द सेल्स ऑफ दीज यूजली रिमेन कनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर बाई साइटोप्लाजमिक फ्रेड इसमें आपको मिलेगा सीनोबियम कैलोनी हैज अ डिफिनेट नंबर ऑफ सेल तो उसको सीनोबियम कहते हैं फिर सीनोबियम भी मोटाइल या नॉन मोटाइल हो सकता है मोटाइल फ्राम फ्रेजिलेटेड एंड होल सीनोबियम कैन मूव फ्राम ऑर्गेनाइज बीट इंजेक्शन ऑफ फ्रेजेडा वॉल वॉक्स एंडोरिना यूडोरिना इसकी मिसालें हैं और वॉल वॉक्स सीनोबियम इज हाइलोस्फियर नॉन मोटाइल फॉर्म्स द सेल्स आर विदाउट फ्रेजिला देयर बाई सीनोबियम इज नॉन मोटाइल हाइड्रोडिक टयान ये एक नेट की तरह और लगता है और ये आपको ऐसे दिखाई देगा ये हाइड्रोडिक टयान है सेंडेसमस है ये सेंडेसमस है ठीक है तो इसमें आपको कोई फ्लेजिला वगैरह नहीं मिलेंगे और ये आपको मिलेगा उसमें नॉन मोटाइल कलोनियल एलिए में एग्रीगेटेड फॉर्म्स जो हैं Unlike synobium, the cells are aggregated irregularly, showing a colonial mass of various size and shape. So, aggregated palmelide है, dendroid है, lysopodial form है. अब palmela एक algae का नाम है, common sheath होगा, non-motile होगा, retained embedded in amorphous gelatinous mucilage matrix. And every cell of organization is independent and can perform all the function as an individual. Clamor, monas, 
enchromelina represent palmilide as a temporary feature in their life cycle. Tetraspora, palmidodictyon, gliochloris, chlorosacus, rhinophyce ke member hai. Isi tara fusistis and microcystis ye jo hai jenaab palmilide habit permanent feature hai. Dendroid. In this type, the number, shape, and size of cell is variable. They look like microscopic trees. Prasinocladus, Iqbalocystis, Chrysodendron. These are all the things that you will get dendroid types. Dendroid type basically ये ट्री की तरह होता है ठीक है तो क्राइसोडेंड्रॉन जो है ये ये वाला ये अगर आप देखें ये आपको ऐसे नजर आएगा ये डेंड्राइड फॉर्म है मतलब जैसे कोई ट्री लाइक स्ट्रक्चर हो Mucilaginous thread is present at the base of each cell, thus showing a sort of polarity. Rhizopodial in this type cells are united through rhizopodia. Chrysidiastrum, chlorophyce ka ek member hai. Chrysidiastrum jo hai. Ye dekhe. Ye wala member, ye chrysidiastrum ka hai. उम्मीद है आपको नजर आ रहा होगा तो ये भी डेंड्रॉइड है ठीक है और सॉरी राइजोपोडियल है नॉट डेंड्रॉइड राइजोपोडियल है और ये क्राइसोफाइसी का जन्मद है फिलामेंटस प्लांट बॉडी जहां जो आप पढ़ रहे हो वो बच्चे जो मतलब वो स्टूडेंट्स वो स्कॉलर्स जो आगे जाकर फाइकोलॉजी में स्टूडेंट्स को थीसिस करवाएंगे तो प्रिस्कार्ट के पेज 571 पर आप देखें तो उन्होंने तकरीबन इसी तरह फॉलो किया है जैसे ये थैलस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है तो यूनिसेलर मैक्रो एलजी माइक्रो एलजी फिलामेंट्स ब्रांच अनब्रांच फिर और कैरेक्टर्स की तरफ गया है so filamentous LG, the filamentous plant body is formed through repeated cell division in a single plant and in a single direction where the cells remain firmly attached to each other end to end forming a chain or a thread. Filaments may be unbranched or branched. Unbranched filaments, it may be free floating, just like a spirogyra or attached to substratum, jolothrex may have. The free floating unbranched filaments are not differentiated into basal and apical cell. کیونکہ اس میں یہ نہیں ہے تو ڈوم شیپ پہ ہیپیکل سیل بھی نہیں ہوگا اور ہیپٹی رون بھی نہیں ہوگا آل سیلز ان فیلمنٹس آر آلائک بٹ دی انبرانچ فیلمنٹس دیٹ ریمین اٹیش تو سبسٹریٹم آر ڈیفنیشیٹیڈ انٹو بیس ان ایپس آل دی سیلز آر فیلمنٹس آر سیملر ایکسپٹ بیسل اٹیشمنٹ یہاں پر آپ کو فائزوپوڈیل سیل یا ہیپٹی رون یا ہولڈ فاسٹ ملے گا اور اوپر کا جو سیل ہے وہ ڈوم شیفٹ ہوگا وہ اپیکل ہوگا آپ نے پڑھا بھی ہوگا ان آٹمی میں اپیکل سیل تیری تو یہ اپیکل سیل تیری بیسیکلی اسی سے نکلا ہے سیٹن ڈگری آف ڈیویزن آف لیور امنگ دی سیلز تو مانو پلین اور ڈیویزن جو ہے کہ مطلب انڈ ٹو انڈ ایڈ ہوتے ہیں اور فیلمنٹ بنتا ہے اور دی فیلمنٹ ایز اسٹیبلشت ایز ارسٹ آف سیلز پر فارم پوٹو سینٹیک ان برانشت فیلمنٹس اب برانشت فیلمنٹس تو یہ بھی کئی ایک طرح سے فالز بھی ہو سکتے ہیں ٹرو بھی ہو سکتے ہیں it is formed when a filament occasionally starts division in second plan falsely branched and truly branched a falsely branched the trichoma blue greens may break either due to death or decay of intercalary cells broken ends merge out of the mesogenous sheath in the form of a branch they do not arise as lateral outgrowth. Sectonema, they claim. Look, if you look at this, then look at this. Okay? 
सिक्टोनीमा में देखें यहाँ पर म्यूसिलेज है और ये एलजी अलग है ये वाली और ये वाला ऑर्गेनिज्म अलग है और नीचे कोई और है तो दे डू नॉट अराइज इज लेटर ऑफ ग्रोथ ट्रूली ब्रांच वो होते हैं विन अ सेल इन द फिलामेंट ओकेजनली स्टार डिविजन इन द सेकंड प्लेन ट्रू ब्रांच इज फॉर्म द ट्रू ब्रांच अराइज इज लेटर ऑफ ग्रोथ यहां पर होता है तो द ब्रांचेस आर ऑफ फॉलोइंग थ्री टाइप सिर्फ यहां पर सिंपल फिलामेंट हेट्रोट्राइकस हैबिट सीडो पेरेंकाइमेटस हैबिट अब यहां पर तीन चीजें आ गई अगर ब्रांचड फिलामेंट है तो सिंपल फिलामेंट इन दिस ब्रांचिंग सिस्टम द होल टेलस रिमेन अटैच्ड टू द सबस्ट्रेटम बाय अ बेसल सेल एंड ब्रांचेस मे अराइज फ्रॉम एनी सेल ऑफ द फिलामेंट एक्सेप्ट द बेसल सेल क्लेडाफ्रा में देखें क्लेडाफ्रा में मेरेट हमें देखें हैबिट वो है कि होल टेलस इज डिफ्रेंशिएटेड इनटू प्रोस्टेट एंड इरेक्ट सिस्टम तो एक प्रोस्टेट सिस्टम चला जाता है एक इरेक्ट सिस्टम चला जाता है एक तो कार्पस प्रोग्रेसिव एलिमिनेशन ऑफ फ्रेडशिला में देखें एलिमिनेशन ऑफ प्रोस्टेट सिस्टम इज ऑब्जर्वडारिजुक्लोनियम द इरेक्ट सिस्टम इज इन ये देखें तो प्रोस्टेट सिस्टम एक नीचे जा रहा होता है एक ऊपर जा रहा होता है ये होता है सीडो पेरन का एमेटस ये फिलामेंट से ऐसे डाइकॉटम इसमें इतनी ज्यादा हो जाती है कि ये एक सीडो पेरन का एमेटस स्ट्रक्चर दिखाई देता है सेंट्रल एक्सेस फिलामेंट्स टुगेदर विद दियर ब्रांच फ्यूज टू फॉर्म अ पेरन का एमेटस स्ट्रक्चर इसका सीडो पेरन का एमेटस टेलिस अगेन इट इज फॉर्म बाई the branches of single filament is known as uniaxial or trachospermum or may be multiaxial when more than one filaments are involved jaise ki polysiphonia mein to ye dekhen polysiphonia ka aur ye trachospermum ka agar ek axis hai to uniaxial hoga aur agar zyada ka hai to pseudo parenchymatous ka to polysiphonia ka hoga to multiaxial hoga Siphonaceous form. In this form, the thallus is aseptic and multinucleate, cynocytic. Just the like that, it is a cherry form. It may be elaborate with clear division of labor, differentiated into aerial and subterranean portion. But tridium is. In this, if you look at it, then it will be common cytoplasm. And parenchymatous form, just the like that, it is a ulva. When the shells of filament divide in multi-directional planes, it results. the formation of parenchymatous thallus and ultimately become in folios flat tubular enteromorpha skytosiphon sargasum growth of parenchymatous thallus may be diffused as cells can divide intercalary when the dividing region remain in intercalary position laminaria trichothallic intercalary meristem at the base of terminal hair porphyra or apical dekhen growth of parenchymatous thallus may be diffused intercalary trichothallic by inter specialized intercalary at the base of a terminal hair porphyra or apical when more for example porphyra or apical when one or more well de, uh, defined apical cells divide to produce the remainder of the thallus fucus origin uh, and evolution of sex in algae algae like most of other plants are produced by all the three means vegetative asexual and sexual so sexual reproduction jo hai wo aapko cyanophyce mein so phyce mein absent milegi slime algae mein matlab blue green algae mein hai ye aapko nahi milegi in other groups of reproduction takes place by all the above three means out of which a sexual and sexual method are very common so many plants multiply vegetatively dekhen algae mein yahan par aap baat karte hain but they do not involve regeneration of the protoplasm to yahan par baat karenge ki kaise algae mein algae tamam plants aur animals ki maa hai evolution ke wise evolution wise kaise sab cheezon ka origin yahan se hua hai isme sare trends maujood hain jo ho sakte so this asexual uh, reproduction takes place by means of specialized motile and non motile sex uh, 
non-sex cells. This viscous spores get, uh, which do not undergo fusion and germination. They give rise to new individual. Lastly, sexual reproduction involves the union of six cell gametes. So, now we will have three gametes by joining the sex cells of fusion, isogamy, anisogamy, or oogamy. Zygote and germination give rise to new plants. The gametes are incapable of developing a new plant. Our germination. So, here, zoospores and gametes are developed during asexual and sexual reproduction. Zoospores in their motile, they are morphological, and accept their size. The gametes are smaller in size than the zoospore. Yeh bhi hai. Acha, isme meiotic division jo hai, wo agar ho, to zygotic de ke meiosis three jagon par hoti hai. Gametic meiosis, zygotic meiosis, or sporodic meiosis. So, gametic meiosis, gamete formation se pehle hoti hai, to gametes se bante hai, to wo hoti hai, is tarah animal mein kaam hai, ek hai, hindi mein nai meiliya mein hai, lekin yeh ilgi mein hai. Isi liye mein kehta hoon, ilgi sab ki maa hai. Dousra hai, sporodic meiosis, jib spore bante hai, to meiosis se bante hai, kingdom planti mein yeh hota hai, lekin ilgi mein yeh ho raha hai, pehle se, to ilgi sab ki maa hai. Tisra hai, zygotic meiosis. Zygotic meiosis is that when zygote is made, like in the fungi, then it is made of meiosis. And when it is made of meiosis, it is made of four cells and it is applied. In the fungi, it is common that all the kingdom of fungi is made of zygotic meiosis. But in the ilg, it is made of clemenomonas. So, ilg is the mother of all. It means that evolution-wise is base. The origin of gametes is the starting point of origin of six. The above fact can be interpreted by studying the life history of some algae like Lemuromonas, Eulothrix. In this member, the gametes and zoospores are alike in structure, shape, mode of development, but the difference lays in their size. The gametes are smaller in size than the zoospores. The above difference is visible due to a difference in number of division in their maternal protoplasm. During their formation, if the number of division is less, the unit protoplast develops into zoospores. These zoospores have the sufficient amount of protoplasm to develop new plants for germination. The number of division is more than the mother protoplast divides into more units, and each unit develops into a structure like zoospores, but smaller in size and is incapable of germination into a new individual. So, <clears throat> यहाँ से बात चलती है तो हम कहते हैं कि क्लोरोफाइसा यूलोट्रिक जोनेटा कैन प्रोड्यूस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ जूसपोर्स क्वाड्रिफ्लेजिलेट्स माइक्रो जूसपोर्स क्वाड्रिफ्लेजिलेट्स माइक्रो जूसपोर्स एंड बाइफ्लेजिलेट माइक्रो जूसपोर्स देखें जूसपोर्स की वर्सिटिलिटी भी देखें अब माइक्रो जूस Number of division is very less. A few zoospores develop this zoospore and germination develops into a healthy plant. Quadrifugilate micro zoospore to have number of division protein more more number of zoospores are formed and on germination they develop new plants weaker than the plants developed by micro zoospore or bifugilate micro zoospore. If the number of division protoplans is still more, these sporangium forms large number of units of protoplast. These microzoospore and germination develop into a plant. Those are still weaker than about two cases. So microzoospores are alike in structure and show similar mode of development like the meats. During unfavorable condition, the microzoospore fail to liberate from the sporangium and undergo more division and thus form more number of smaller units. These smaller units behave as gametes. These gametes undergo fusion to form zygote. Or zygote takes rest during unfavorable condition. Unfavorable condition, not favorable, sorry, unfavorable condition, germinate into a new plant which uh, 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 take rest in and after in, in the favorable condition that germinate into a new plant which bears a sexual sport again. So, you can see that 
Sexuality in LG have originated result of accidental fusion of very small microspore-like units. Or sex, sexuality basically unfavorable को को करना होता है क्योंकि जैसे वो thick wall deployed um, है और ये wrist stage की तरफ जाता है तो survival के लिए अच्छा है. The above we is also supported by the fact that the lower group of plant sexual reproduction takes place during unfavorable condition to overcome the situation according to starvation theory. कहते हैं कि the sexuality is originated in algae due to attraction between two nutritionally efficient deficient. ठीक है तो एक दूसरे की कमी को पूरा करने के लिए जितना मतलब डिफरेंट होंगे न्यूट्रिशनली उतना वो एक दूसरे को अट्रैक्ट करेंगे एवोल्यूशन ऑफ सेक्स एंड एनर्जी एवोल्यूशन ऑफ सेक्स टेक्स प्लेस बाय अ डिफरेंट प्रोसेस फ्रॉम सिंपल आइसोगेमी टू कम्प्लेक्स एट्रोथेलिकोगेमी थ्रू फिजियोलॉजिकल एंड मोनफोलॉजिकल एंड आइसोगेमी अब यहाँ पर आइसोगेमी की बात हो रही है सबसे इब्तदाई फॉर्म है प्लेमेडोमोनास में प्लेडाफ्रा में बहुत फ्यूजिंग है म्यूसर मार्फोलॉजिकली एंड फिजियोलॉजिकली आइडेंटिकल दस दे कैन नॉट बी डिफ्रेंशिएटेड इनटू मेल एंड फीमेल गेमिट्स द गेमिट्स आर कॉल्ड आइसोगेमिट्स और ये एक जैसे होते हैं तो मतलब इसको इसी वजह से आइसोगेमी कहते हैं आइसो मीन सेम गेमो गेमी मीन फ्यूजन गेमस मीन marriage and gamos means husband so both uh, gametes are similar in shape and size physiological in isogamy in some in the the gametes are morphologically alike but differ in their physiological behavior in zoonotrix the gametes thus produced are morphologically identical but the fusion takes place between gametes originating from different filaments indicate the difference in their physiological characteristics and can be designed as positive and negative gametes so physiological in isogamy one is motile and other is non motile uh, that is physiological characteristics spirogyra the gametes are non motile and identical in shape and size those develop singly within the cell at the time of conjugation the two filaments come close to each other and some lateral was ladder like conjugation lateral conjugation conjugal order So they are conjugated together. Some of them are connected by conjugation too. Out of the two fusing gametes, one becomes passive and remains within the cell and behave as female gametes. So here, if you look at the spirogyra, on the other hand, other gametes, the non-motile, becomes active and passes to the female through conjugation to be here to be tube and behave as male gametes. So. Though the gametes are morphologically identical, they show differences in their behavior. Physiological anisogamy. Anisogamy is the carpus pandorina, Claudium, Clematomonas, Brunei. Anisogamy is directly visible. Here, both the gametes are ciliated, motile, but unequal in size. The gametes are called anisogametes. Uh, the smaller one is called microgametes, which behave as male. and the larval one is called macrogamete which behaves as female so the micro and macrogametes are produced within the micro and macro gametangium respectively ab u gami jo hai isme u gami hai matlab ek ek jo hoga wo large hoga non motile hoga female gametes are produced in 3d uh, sorry and gametes female and male मेल एंड फीमेल मेल इंट्रीडियम में पैदा होगा फीमेल उगोनियम में पैदा होगा तो स्माल और एक्टिव होगा मेल गेमीट एक्टिव होगा एंटीरोजोइड होगा एक रिलेटिवली लार्जर एंड इनएक्टिव होगा फीमेल गेमीट या को वोम एड कहेंगे इस फॉर्म विद इन द उगोनियम एक्सेप्ट इन फ्यूकस तो इन स्पीशीज में आपको नहीं मिलेगा मेनी मेल गेमीट्स आर फॉर्म विद इन द इंट्रीडियम and few of i few of i see both male and female gametes are discharged from the inferior and ugonium respectively and their union occurs in water this type is called primitive ugonium 
Uruguay, Uruguay may male gametes include the provide a small of flagellate and develop a pair within the unicellular enthridium, but the female gametes develop singly within the ogonium. The fertilization takes place within the ogonium. Isi tarah kara may be hai. Globuli or nuclei. The sex organs are further specialized. Male sex organ is globuli containing globule. A huge number of interior zooids in the more or less oval, while protected structure is called nuclei, a nucule containing only one egg. The protection of egg in zygote is much more indicating an advanced characteristic. This is why Caropheci in the sperm care hmm. ancestors be kehte hai. Thikhe? Fucus mein separate male, female, mixed conceptacle, receptacle, formed on receptacle pe conceptacle hote hain, conceptacle ke under. Eight eggs develop in ugonium, seven degenerates till now, all the species are homothelic. The evolution of sex reaches its climax in the heterothelic species of Prodophysis. Spermatia, non-motile sperms ko spermatia kehta hai. Male gametes are non-motile and develop singly in spermatine. So, heterothelic species jaysay drodophysi mein paai jate hain. Those are carried by water current to trichogyne, the receptive region of the female sex organ. To usko trichogyne kehta hain. The carbogonium ka hissa hota hai, uska ek swollen part hota hai. In polysiphonia and odogonium, out of four tetraspores are those spores developed by meiosis. From tetrasporangia or directly from the goat, two produce female plants. And this way, all the two male plants are made. Tetrasporangia directly from, from the goat are uh, produced. To produce female and to produce male plants. From the above discussion, a progressive monophyletic line of evolution can be stressed from isogamy to heterothelic ogamy. Through physiological anisogamy, morphological anisogamy, and homothelic ogamy. So, यहाँ पर उम्मीद है आपको समझ आ गई होगी दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर विच वॉज डिलीवर्ड इन शाह आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड मैनी इंटरेस्टिंग लेक्चर फॉर एम फिल एम पी एच डी स्टूडेंट्स इन पाइथोलॉजी सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम अल्लाह आपको अपने अमान में रखे अल्लाह